Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today I'm going to go back to code signal exercises on database SQL programming. Uh, so I'm going to go to the arcade. And if you wanted to start from the beginning of this series, I'll go ahead and put a link down below uh, to the playlist for this series. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and continue on. So we went through 1 through 10, so both of these sections now we're on, would you like the second meal? Since like is uh, pronounced, I'm guessing that it's going to be about the like operator. So let's go ahead and start on number 11 here. All right, so a large amount of money was stolen today from the main city bank. As the chief of police, it's your duty to find the robber. Uh, you store information about your suspect in the table suspect, which has the structure, so you've got an ID, you got a name, a surname, a height, and a weight. You've already gathered some evidence and discovered the following clues. So according to the camera records, the robber is not taller than 170 centimeters. The robber left their signature near the crime scene, B uh, period, and then GRE uh, looks like question mark, so they couldn't figure out what that character was, then N. B definitely stands for the first letter of the robber's name, and GRE question mark N is their surname. The fourth letter of the surname is smudged by ketchup and is unreadable. To make the list of suspects smaller, you would like to filter out the suspects who can't possibly be guilty according to the information obtained from the clues. For each remaining suspect, you want to save his or her ID, name, and surname. Please note that the information obtained from the clue should be considered case insensitive. So for example, uh, lowercase bill, uh, capital G green, and etc. should all be included in the new table. Given the table suspect, build the resulting table as follows. The table should have the column's ID, name, and surname, and its values should be ordered by the suspect's IDs in ascending order. Alright, so they're giving us the suspect table, ID, name, surname, height, and weight and they want us to output an ID, name, and surname. So let's go back to what they exactly want. So to make the list of suspects smaller, you like to filter out the suspects who can't possibly be guilty according to the information. So the people that are not going to be guilty. So according to the record, the robber is not taller than 170 centimeters. And the robber left their signature near the crime scene. Okay. So we want to get a list of suspects, and we've got some information. So let's just start with uh, the table here, the output, the select. Basically, we're just selecting ID, name, and surname directly from the table. So that's very simple. You just go select ID, name, surname. And then the from is just from this one table suspect. So we do from suspect. Where is where we will do most of the work here. So let's go back to this uh, clues. So according to the camera records, the robber is not taller than 170 centimeters. All right, so we've got this height column, and it's in centimeters. So all we have to do is say height is less than or equal to 170 because we know that uh, he is not taller than 170 centimeters. And then we know his name starts with a B, uh, we don't know how many characters are after that, and then we know it's uh, five characters, and we know four of those characters. We know G, R, E, and then there's some character we don't know, and then an N. And so we're going to put in, actually I'm going to capitalize this, but, and so we're going to do name, blank, because name is just the first name. We know it starts with a B, but we don't know how many characters are after that, so we use this percent sign which means it could be any number of characters after the B and that will pull anything. So it starts with a, a B and ends with some number of characters. And then we know the surname is GRE, then there's some unknown character and then there's N. When we use the underscore character that means there is exactly one character and we don't know what it is. 
so it'll match anything that has starts with GRE, one more character, and then an N. And then they wanted it uh, sorted by IDs in ascending order, so we just order by uh, ID. And I got a little sloppy, I should have capitalized order by. All right, so if we run the tests, and then you just need the, this semicolon at the end to make sure that the database engine knows that's the end of the statement. And you can see we got uh, the records that we expected, so that is the correct answer. And actually, we should probably cap capitalize blank as well. Um, so capitalizing these, it's, it's not required, but it just makes it so it's easier to identify what is uh, an Oracle or, Oracle or MySQL keyword, and then everything else is just either a table column or some sort of filter condition. All right. Thank you very much. Hope you guys were able to follow that. Goodbye.